23rd episode of my Exploring Appalachia series, many of you told me I should go to Hazard, Kentucky. So I loaded up the Roadrunner and took off. It's been over a decade since I was last in Hazard, so I couldn't quite remember what the town was like. Hazard sits in the southeastern hills of Kentucky, and the North Fork of the Kentucky River snakes its way through town. Now Hazard is the county seat of Perry County, Kentucky. Both were named after Oliver Hazard Perry, who was a naval commander in the War of 1812. Although the earliest European settlers such as Elijah Combs were in this area in the late 1790s and the first village they established was called Perry County Courthouse where many Revolutionary War veterans would eventually settle, it would be nearly a hundred years later in the 1880s before the city of Hazard would be officially incorporated. During the war between the states, Hazard was still a very small settlement, with maybe a dozen families living here. During the war, Hazard would find itself many times in the crosshairs of raiding bands of outlaws. And the impact this would have stuck in the psyche of the community for generations. The first locomotive didn't arrive until 1912 in Hazard. Keep in mind, this part of Kentucky would have been extremely isolated in the deep dark hills of Appalachia. On foot, the only access to the valley would have taken two weeks over the surrounding mountains. Before rail was brought to town, river flatboats would carry needed supplies down from Jackson, a nearly 45 mile trip. But both Hazard and Perry County became very prosperous due to the growing coal industry of the 1930s and 40s, which eclipsed the booming lumber business of the late 1800s. Now, coal is still present in Hazard. In fact, each year this heritage is celebrated with the Black Gold Festival in downtown Hazard. If you're like me, I enjoy the old hit television show from the early 1980s called The Dukes of Hazard. I know this show was set in a fictional Hazard County, Georgia, but I think it's cool that several of the cast members visited Hazard, Kentucky during its Black Gold Festival while the show was airing in the 80s. Among its historic buildings that are now over a hundred years old, Hazard seems to have a growing variety of small businesses, a local food movement and farmers market, there's even a bit of an art scene growing here.
you also find quite a unique landmark called the Mother Goose House, which has made appearances on several television shows. It's been a landmark for quite some time. Unlike many of the boom and bust coal towns I've visited this year, Hazard's actually seen quite a rapid population growth in the past decade. Around 5,000 people call it home. Hazard has a lot of history. It's been visited by the Clintons, Robert Kennedy, and there was even a feud that took place here called the French Eversol War. Now like most of these disputes that happened, both historians and the media at the time sensationalized the events over about a seven year period claiming upwards of 70 or more deaths were attributed to the feud, which is said to have had a couple different causes or possibly a combination of both. One was jealousy over a woman, surprise, surprise, and the other was disputes over coal or mineral rights, which seems to have some merit to it. But either way, recent research indicates the number of deaths from this feud to be somewhere around 20 or more. But hey, it made for some good material to sell newspapers and books back in the day. As I spend time in Hazard today, I get a good feeling. From the few people I ran into and got a chance to speak with, I see a people not wanting to be bound by past stereotypes. I see a resourceful people working to reimagine their town and their future. This is Hazard, Kentucky. This is Appalachia. Thanks for watching and exploring with me. I appreciate your support, and if you'd like to donate to the work I'm doing, simply click on the Super Thanks heart icon below this video if you're watching it on YouTube. Or look in the description or end credits for my Patreon link to become a monthly patron.